Welcome one and all. Come and listen to Maria's Malt Musings. My name's Maria and I'm here to tell you a wee bit about the delightful Deanston 12 years. Deanston is a Highland distillery and it is named after a village of the same name. Deanston is situated on the banks of the River Teeth and the village was originally built around a cotton mill. Highlanders came here after the clearances to find a new home and hoping to seek valuable employment at the cotton mill. Understandably, accommodation and schoolhouses were built to suit by the mill developers, but they neglected one crucial, crucial detail, something very, very important. A pub. How can you have a village without a pub? They justified this by saying that the public house may lead the mill workers away from their duties. I can't understand that personally. All work and no play. You know the old saying. So it seems rather ironic to me that the site of this cotton mill, 180 years later, would become Deanston Distillery in 1967 when it was formally opened. Deanston classed themselves as an artisan whiskey and emphasised the craftsmanship and the traditional production methods that they use. Their whisky is non-chill filtered and all the products they use come from Scotland. So they take their Scottish barley and they mill it using a four roller presser and then they t test this um, product by hand to ensure that the correct amount of natural sugars and slow sugars is achieved. So it's very person centred with that personal touch. Uh, they then aged their whiskey in Kentucky oak barrels in the original weaving shed from the mill. So there's that wee touch of history there. It also lends its hand perfectly to cool maturation as the arched roofs of the weaving shed allow the temperature to remain constantly cool. So that's perfect for giving us that wonderful Deanston flavour that we've come to love. Deanston is the largest distillery owned by Burn Stewart and it is actually the only distillery in Scotland to be self-sufficient in electricity. This is because they use um, hydro energy to produce their electricity. And they don't stop there with their um, eco-awareness. They've recently changed their packaging to the easily recyclable cardboard you see in front of us. It still looks lovely, but it's much easier to recycle than the traditional a gift tube type whiskey packaging you see quite often in the industry. So I can't see what's not to love about this whiskey but I'm about to tell you what is to love about this whiskey. Let's go on to the good bit, actually tasting the whiskey. Now um, this bottling aged for 12 years in the bourbon casks and bottled at 46 46.3%. I beg your pardon. Oh, it's just immediately stunning on the nose. It just smells so fresh and, I don't know, outdoorsy, if that makes any sense. It's quite malty and fresh. And then you've got that lovely sweetness there. I think I'm getting kind of toffee notes. Maybe a wee hint of heather or something. And then lots of that sweet oak. That is so, 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 so smooth and creamy. Yeah, you've got that lovely mouth coating creaminess there. 
and then you're getting the fruity undertone running right through. But there's also a nice heat there. Yeah, you're getting the multi spiciness now. With the sweet honey in abundance there. The nose on that is just so pleasant. finish crisp but you're getting a lovely wee lingering note on the tongue there of cloves it's ever so slight but it is evident there in the aftertaste a lovely kind of gentle warming finish Delicious. So there you have it. Deanston. The artisan whiskey for the eco warrior. For the days when you feel like you've been through the mill. And it's now available as a multi of the month in the shop. Don't miss out. Cheers.